Miss Philippines. Well, hey everyone. I am Laren Mabuti. So you can call me Laren. I am from the Philippines. And as you can know, I'm Miss Go Philippines as of um, to represent the Philippines here in Miss Globe 2019. And um, basically, I am a proud Provinciana. Provinciana means a province girl. I am from Laguna, a beautiful province in the Philippines. And I love my family. I really do. Um, I spend my time with my friends and my family. I graduated also a bachelor degree, major in marketing management. And after graduating, I joined beauty pageants. And now, um, I, I was able to um, travel the world um, through fashion shows with Mama Rene and of course with um, the help of the Department of Tourism. We've been traveling the globe for two years in a row um, in, um, in the pursuit of promoting our Philippine tapestry. So I love to travel, I love talking to people, I love kids. Um, so yeah, I wanted to explore the globe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Miss Philippines? Alright, my national costume is inspired with Maranao Princess in the Philippines and it is um, worn during the harvest season for, for prayers and for the bountiful harvest. And it is color red for, that stands for the bravery of the Philippines. And um, the headpiece um, is shaped like a mosque that represents the Muslim um, community in the Philippines. So um, it is a modern, um, it's a modern touch of it for to represent the whole Philippines and bringing here it in a globe um, arena. Thank you. So for the next question, but before I do that, I would like to thank Kim Maestrato, Kim Belen of Maestrato Fashions for providing the outfit that I'm wearing tonight or today, as well as his hair and makeup work. So thank you so much, Kim Belen. The third question is, you've heard about Albania and Montenegro, and now that you're here, tell us about your experience in Albania. Miss Philippines. Um, this is my third time in Europe and first time in Albania. Um, yesterday we had a tour and we've been to the museum. It's really nice seeing the history behind it and how people actually um, thought about it and think about how can make we they make the art of it so it's really amazing and it's really um, in interesting to see that in in Albania and one thing I really love here is that when I just came here in, in Albania the first afternoon <coughs> I've been here I saw the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen in my entire life <laughs> I've been telling that to do to Peter to everybody it was like it was so beautiful. I hope and I wish you could see it. I posted it on my Instagram um, um, stories and I hope you can all see it. It's so beautiful in here. Thank you so much, Miss Philippines. So the next question I'd like to ask you ladies, as you know, the Miss Globe 2019's advocacy is protect the planet starting by you. So if you do win the Miss Globe 2019 crown, what would you do to protect the planet? Miss Philippines. I totally agree with you all girls, mm -hmm. but for me, um, in the Philippines, in my hometown, Los Baños, um, last 2018, our mayor had an um, ordinance which is to ban plastic. So we are the first municipality in the Philippines and that I am proud of. Um, since then, I've been, um, I've been taught that we should stop using plastic or lessen the usage, usage of plastic. So I wanted to bring that in the globe arena so that people will be more educated regarding with the plastic usage because we all know that our earth, we should heal our earth, we should heal our globe and we should heal our planet. Um, it is our daily decisions that leads to destruction and protection of the earth. So it's our decision, it's our decision to protect rather than destruct. Um, Destructing the planet. So we should start it from ourselves. Thank you, Miss Philippines. And as you know, this is a head to head challenge, ladies, so I have to give you something of a surprise question just to pick your brain up. And my question is through the years, there has been a significant growth in the visibility and acceptance of the LGBTQ community. If you could educate the world in one thing about the LGBTQ, community, what would it be and why? 
Miss Philippines. I would consider them, you know, every community of the LGBTQ communities are humans too. I mean, it should always go with acceptance and respect. Um, it will go a long way, especially in the Philippines. Um, LGBTQ communities are being tolerated, but what we really wanted to push through is to accept, push acceptance. Thank you. So this will be coming to an end of the Head Head Challenge, but before that, ladies, it's really important that you thank the people that has helped you to come all the way here in your journey with the Miss Globe. And as well as to send your fans a message to vote for you. Philippines. Mabuhay, I would like to say thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support. I've been um, reading through the messages that been getting from the Philippines. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po sa mga kapa ko Pinoy. And please do go to www.themissglobe.com and continue voting for me. Maraming salamat. There you have it. So this concludes the, this group's head-to-head -head challenge. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has joined us. and. Um, Please continue to support all these beautiful ladies.